These are the claws of Australovenator wintonensis, an Australian dinosaur that lived around 95 million years ago in the late Albion period of the Cretaceous. Though age has undoubtedly taken its toll, its sharp curve and large size betrays its nature as a deadly weapon. It's far from the only remarkable thing about Australovenator, however, as the theropod is not only one of the few Australian dinosaurs and one of the even fewer carnivores, but it's also one of the most complete. Found in 2006 in Queensland by the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum of Natural History, the skeleton of Australovenator was found mixed in with another dinosaur, a sauropod Diamantinosaurus. The skeleton on Earth featured nearly complete legs, feet, arms, and hands, a collection of ribs, part of the lower jaw, and a handful of teeth. From this, several conclusions were drawn. Australovenator was most likely a member of the Megaraptoraclade, a group defined by their small teeth but powerful arms with impressive claws among other things. It was also found in an area ripe with crocodile, turtle, and fish bones, as well as some shells, which led to the theory that the dinosaur had originally died at the bottom of a prehistoric billabong, along with its not-so-fortunate company. The skeleton was nicknamed Banjo after Banjo Patterson, a famous and influential Australian poet, journalist, and author. Rather appropriately, one of Patterson's most popular works would be Waltzing Matilda, in which a swagman, or a traveling laborer, dives into and drowns in a billabong, not unlike the fate of Australovenator. The name Australovenator actually means southern hunter, with the Atawitonensis denoting the type species of the genus, and making it southern hunter from Winton, a town close to where the bones are found. As far as Australovenator's specific characteristics, the theropod was a moderately sized dinosaur, at 5 to 6 meters long, about 1.6 meters tall, and about 0.7 meters wide. It was also speculated to be quite agile, with strong, long legs. Paleontologist Dr. Scott Hocknell, in an article by ABC News, even described it as a cheetah of its time. And, as could be expected from a Megaraptorid, though its jaws were lightly built and featured small teeth, its arms were long and sported three claws, two of which were especially large, at about 30 centimeters of length. Based on a study which focused on the range of motion possible for Australovenator's forearms, the dinosaur had a large range of motion, and it was very possible for Australovenator to use its arms not only to dispatch prey, but also grab and pull them closer including in the chest. After this, it may have been easier to use its relatively weak jaws to finish off its meal. To quote the aforementioned study, the forearms of Australovenator are envisioned to have it played a dominant role in prey capture. When imagining the environment Australovenator lived in, we might be inclined to see it roaming across the rust-red plains of modern-day Australia. But, actually, during the Cretaceous period, the landmass that now comprises Australia was centered around the South Pole, directly joined with none other than Antarctica. The area had a cool, moist climate, and several sources indicate it would have shared harsh winters, with the Princeton Field Guide to Dinosaurs describing the environment as follows, well-watered, cold winters with heavy snows. The area was also blanketed with enormous conifer forests, and included a plethora of ferns, club mosses, horsetails, and ginkgos. Banjo's discovery has also enabled fascinating research, like using its complete foot skeleton to model dinosaur tracks. By 3D modeling the foot bones and pairing them with scans of the soft tissue of an emu foot, a restoration of one possibility for the Australovenator's foot was made. Then, the foot was used to make tracks and compare and contrast with other dinosaur footprints. Australovenator was a fascinating dinosaur, and being the most complete Australian theropod was hugely important. It was theorized to be fast and agile and sported long arms with enormous claws, as well as a substantial range of motion for both and living in the then-temperate area of Gondwana, it would have seen snows and harsh winters. Australovenator is a distinct dinosaur, and is certainly worth remembering.